I want to put the ball high and tight. Now, say if I get in the open field, it's going to be hard to carry the ball like this because you're going to want to make someone miss and get out here. If I'm going to make a miss and, I, and if I feel he's going to hit me, then that's when I, I'm going to dip my shoulder and I'm going I'm to bring the ball up high and tight just to take control of it. So the biggest thing is being prepared to be hit, and I think that's what keeps me from fumbling a lot. I think the biggest thing is the five pressure points. You got your fingers, palm of your hand, right. your forearm, your bicep, and then your rib cage. So that's what I try to do every time, but you got to keep your, keep your fingers over the ball. You can't carry the ball without any, anything over the tip. You got to put something, either, either some people like putting their finger, index finger on the ball, some people like using the web and just putting it in between it. But you got to keep your fingers over the ball somehow. You can't carry it like a loaf of bread. Now, when you're in the open field, right, and you're about to give somebody the business, <laughs> tell me what you do with the ball at that point. To tell you the truth, that's probably where I'm worse, worse after checking the ball. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, you think you're playing basketball, you get out there, you try to make your moves, and the ball's way out here. Yeah. So I get in trouble for that a lot. Luckily, I haven't, I haven't fumbled the ball yet in the open field like that. 707 consecutive touches without losing the football to a fumble. While Michigan hopes that trend continues, here's one they hope...